So I'm here with a, a couple of engineers that have been burning the midnight oil to get a, a new release of a nice JavaScript library. Uh, could you introduce yourself to the uh, viewers? Uh, my name is Ryan Boyd. I work on the GDO team. My name is Pamela Fox. I usually work on the Maps API team. Usually, but not today. So uh, <laughs> Ryan, could you uh, tell people what you guys are releasing? Uh, we're releasing a blogger uh, component to our GData JavaScript client library, uh, which allows you cross-domain read-write access to your blogger blogs uh, within JavaScript. Cool. So what kind of things are developers going to be able to do with this? Uh, we've, we've seen a lot of ideas. Uh, we actually developed a couple samples for this release. Uh, one of the samples is to allow you to take your calendar entries and uh, your upcoming calendar entries and publish them over to a blogger post so your friends can know where you're going to be at in the next couple of days. Uh, we have another example which allows you to take a uh, snippet of code and put it on your website that allows you to, uh, or allows your readers to click on a link and uh, comment about your website on their own blog. And then we also have another sample uh, developed which allows you to search a bunch of blogs on various topics and uh, so your favorite hobbies or whatever find blog entries using the Ajax Search API, and then make a comment about those blog entries on your own blog. And then Pamela here developed a really nifty sample, which she's here to talk about. Cool. What did you do, Pamela? So I decided to try and use Google Gears, uh, which is a library we released that enables developers to take web applications offline. Uh, I wanted to take that, combine it with the Blogger Client Library, and see if we could create an offline blogger uh, so that wherever you are, you can write those posts that are you know, in your mind and you've got to get them out. And then when you get back online, it would just magically sync it back up for you. Nice. That actually would uh, really help me. I have to get this uh, text editor, put it in the text editor, and then put it in the blogger client when I get online and stuff. So uh, one of the questions that people ask a lot when we come up with an offline example is, what's the architecture? How did you actually take uh, a normal blog client that works when you're online and make it offline? So could you show us a little bit about the, how that works? Well, I can bring us over the whiteboard over here. Ah, here's one that we cooked earlier. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take the simplest action as an example, right? So in your, in your blogger, you want to see all the posts that you have, right? Uh, just when you log in for a certain blog. So we have this get post function. Um, and then we have on the client side, we have a local database. It's a SQLite database that Gears provides. Um, and then on this, the magical blogger side, we have the client library, which will make requests to blogger for us when we're online. Um, so the first thing we do for get posts is we call get local posts. What that will do, it'll check the database and see if we've already synced it with what's online and get whatever's there first, okay? Um, and the next thing we'll do is call get server posts. So if we are online, get server posts will make a request to Blogger, ask to get all the posts for that blog, and then if it's successful, it will clear out the database and update it with all the freshest information from Blogger. So that way, we default to getting everything that we had stored locally. But if we are online, we get the bonus of getting the fresh information. So you might see a little pop of information coming in there. Um, but you know, you get it the fastest that you, you know, possibly can in getting the freshest information. Um, so that's basically it. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, how about we show people what this thing actually looks like and give them a, a run through the actual exa example application? Sure. All right, so here we are at Blog Gears. It's a very clever name. So the first thing we'll need to do is actually grant access to this application um, because we don't, we don't want to have just any application accessing our data, deleting our blogger entries at will. So we'll click here on Login. That brings us to a screen that allows us to grant access. Since I wrote this, I'm going to trust myself. I'm not sure why. So this is going to load in our blogs as well as the posts for our blogs. Uh, let's see, I've got two blogs here, Google Fun Times and other fancy stuff. So in Google Fun Times, I've got four posts. Um, so I want to create a new post. I'll show you how it works online first, and then we'll try it offline. Um, hello, world. This is awesome. Rock. So let's publish that. We can save draft as well if we want to. So you see it went from yellow to gray very quickly. Um, that 
indicates going from not synced in the local database to being synced uh, with the blogger server. Um, and since we are online right now, that happened very quickly. Uh, now we can go into offline mode by going into the Firefox uh, work offline. And I'll go back to create new post. Uh, now I'm offline. Magic will happen. Watch and be amazed. All right, now you see this is yellow. This means it's in the database and it's being marked as it needs to be published once we've gone back offline. Now we can go back into offline mode. And by default, um, I've got it so that it tries to sync about once every 20 seconds or so. Um, but we should be able to force that. There we go. So I forced it by re-clicking on this button because that's a little magic of mine. So now you see it's actually been synced with the server now that we're back online. Cool. So can you edit posts as well? Yes, you can. Um, so let me go. Let's go into work offline again. And say hello to the universe. All right, and let's go online. You can see it's yellow, which means it's not synced. And let's force that resync. All right, now we can see that it has been edited and it's not yellow anymore, which means that the database is all synced up over the architecture here there's this local database you're creating and editing mm -hmm. in the local database and then when you're online it goes through and fires those events back up to the to the server in the sky to blogger right exactly we could actually you can use your uh, we use the DB query tool and check out what the database looks like right now sure let's do that all right uh, first let me create a new post offline just so we have something that's not synced go back into our work offline mode. I need to come up with more things to say. Okay, and then uh, so Google Gears actually comes with a couple different tools that you can use that will help you out in debugging your applications and so you can just install them on your server uh, and then use them. One of them is a database query tool. And we've never loaded it on this machine. Uh, more crapping. Oh, God, no. All right, so my database name is bloggers1. And now I can just issue SQLite commands from here. Um, and the table that's keeping track of the post is called post entries. So we just want to check that out. We can say select star from post entries. That will show me all the posts that it's synced with. Um, you can see the author, contents, various links. And then you can see the sync state. The sync state is zero for most of these because they're all synced up. And then we have this one down here, three. Three is a constant that indicates that this needs to be published once we go back online. So once we actually go back online and we issue a call to the server and it returns, returns back, we actually issue an update statement to the SQLite database and that will set this equal to zero so that it knows that it doesn't need to worry about it anymore and doesn't need to resync it. What are these different uh, hrefs that you've got in here? Uh, well, they're all kinds of things. Um, so GData uses various URIs for posting to. Um, this post HRF, this is actually the URI that you need to post to if you want to create a new entry uh, in a blog. And then this edit HRF, um, this is if you want to edit an entry that already exists. And then GData actually has uh, optimistic concurrency, so it won't let you uh, override an entry if you don't have the current edit URI. So that's how that enforces that. And then we've got things like the actual online link, uh, the link to the comments, etc.